Good morning, everyone. Um, we are the um, team, YWLP team that went to Cameroon. My name is Tika. This I'm is Kate. I'm Abby. I'm Margaret. And our project was taking YWLP um, to Cameroon again and building sustainable, a uh, sustainability and um, connection. Our uh, graduate advisor, Caroline Brenue, who is also a doctoral student here at UVA, was first introduced to the Young Women Leaders Program a few years ago when she first came here. Um, and Caroline saw the potential for this program to really be successful in her home country of Cameroon, and she thought that it would be a great way to empower um, young women in Cameroon and encourage them to stay in school. So initial research that Caroline had done um, indicated that 93% of village women who, or village girls who had dropped out of school wished that they had actually been able to continue and go back to school. But because of cultural barriers, this is very challenging. So once you actually drop out of school, it's very hard to go back. So she created a 24 session handbook that incorporated topics that would be of um, importance and interest to girls in Cameroon. Okay, so one of the main questions is why was a YWP research team needed? Um, and there's three distinct reasons. So YWP Cameroon had been established in seven different schools in three different regions in Cameroon in 2009 and had shown a lot of development since then and a lot of the girls involved in the program really liked this program. So there's a lot of little sisters that wanted to join and join and join. Um, this presented a problem because there were not enough big sisters to mentor all of the little sisters. In some schools, there's a ratio of 99 little sisters and only one big sister for this large group. And there are still girls that wanted to join. Um, so it needed to expand to more schools to touch more girls' lives and also needed to expand with more big sisters. Um, also, initial, initial research on the program was conducted in the spring of 2011 when an undergraduate student went with Caroline to Cameroon to study um, the YWP in the schools already there. So we received the benefit of having that research and having Caroline guide us um, to work um, and to structure our leadership workshop in Cameroon. Okay, our team had three primary objectives for our project. The fir uh, these <coughs> objectives were designed to increase the sustainability of YWLP Cameroon. The first was conducting a training workshop that would train um, 60 new big sisters in order to lead YWLP the following year, and also to provide an example of how a training workshop is run for YWLP facilitators and big sisters to conduct future similar workshops. The second was revising the current handbook. Um, we did this by, uh, or we would, we intended to do this by interviewing big sisters, little sisters, and facilitators on and assessing some of the strengths and weaknesses of the program and intended to revise the curriculum um, to better fit the, uh, uh, the needs of Cameroon specifically. Um, the third was to establish a consistent connection between YWLP Charlottesville and YWLP Cameroon um, through uh, technology and through the internet. And we hoped that there would be a global communication enhanced by this latter goal. So on the first day of the workshop, we did a general welcome. Um, we explained exactly why we were there and what JPC was. Um, we had a lot of representatives from the community come in that were supporting the program. Um, the principal of the Islamic High School where we were conducting the workshop also came to visit and say hello. Um, and again, it just gave the girls a reason to say that, to see that people in the community were really respecting the program. Um, later that day, we also discussed um, physical development as one of our topics. Um, so some of the key things that we talked about was just like breast development, menstruation, um, getting hips and what that means for becoming a woman um, and certain key cultural um, implications that affected um, Cameroonians, uh, Cameroonian girls um, and adolescents. On the second day of the Big Sister training workshop, we discussed socio-emotional development and we covered topics such as self-concept and identity formation, um, the importance of developing a strong relationship of trust with your parents and self-esteem and the effect that the media has on self-esteem. Um. So on day three of the training workshop, we talked about cognitive development. Um, and so for this, we talked about how during adolescence, the frontal lobe isn't fully developed and that can lead <coughs> to rash decision making in adolescence. And we talked about cultural implications of that, both in the United States, which we presented, and then the University of Big Sisters from the University of Chung presented cultural implications for um, the situations in Cameroon as well. 
um, in some ways that we talked about combating these, this rash decision making um, was by looking at the big picture and always um, focusing on good intentions and as well as the ABCs of problem solving, which means to stop and think before you make rash decisions. Um, the, on day four of the workshop, we discussed the topic of leadership and sought to answer the question of what good qualities leaders have. Um, Caroline had emphasized to us that often in Cameroon, leadership was interpreted as power or power seeking. And so during this day, we sought to emphasize that good leaders are people who try to promote discussion, collaboration, they respect others, they respect the opinions of others, um, and they lead by example. And so we were really emphasizing these points um, with the girls and discussing them with them. And, um, and the uh, big sisters of the Islamic high school also led part of the presentation for that day. And they discussed motherhood as leadership and the role of mothers as pillars in Cameroonian society and some of the implications of that. Okay. So essentially throughout the workshop, as we discussed, we discussed um, cultural implications to give the girls a, a broader point of view and to see that their um, cultural perceptions aren't necessarily wrong, they're just different you know, perceptions around the world. Um, we also conducted a computer literacy training which involved everything from teaching the girls how to turn on a computer to typing something in Word or Excel. Um, we also encouraged the girls to create leadership books just as a reminder for when the program actually started, something for them to refer back to um, to keep the program in motion. And we also provided lunch with the, for the girls and this gave us time to bond with the girls in an like, informal setting. Uh, at the end of the workshop, um, we really wanted to focus on our second objective, which was to revise the um, current curriculum. So we, get, we got input from the big sisters and facilitators on topics that they thought should be included or excluded. And some of these new topics that they suggested were nutrition, cultural lack of voice, um, tribalism, stereotypes, and human rights. And we also included a reference section that we called the female leader profile that included information um, from interviews that we conducted with influential and successful women in Cameroon um, as a reference for little sisters to look at to um, provide inspiration for them to continue to strive to reach their goals. So after we received the input from all the big sisters that were participating in the leadership workshop, we got together with the University of Chung Big Sisters and some of the facilitators excuse me, from the different schools where YWP had already been established. Um, and we worked together to divide these topics up into year one, into year two, and to determine the order of topics. Um, because the girls had expressed that for big sisters that were in the program and little sisters that were in the program for two years running, that this was somewhat repetitive, having the same curriculum over and over. So we wanted to make sure that we could present new information so they could build on this information that they learned in year one and year two um, as they went through the program. As previous, previously mentioned, our third objective was to establish a consistent technological connection between Charlottesville and Cameroon. And to this end, we brought four laptops, two digital cameras, two flip cams, two webcams, and a printer, which we left with the uh, facilitators of each site over there. And, and we'd hoped that um, we would be able to create kind of a pen pal, -pal program between um, big sisters and little sisters in Cameroon and um, in the United States. However, the uh, difficulty of establishing a consistent internet, a wireless internet connection in Cameroon has um, precluded that latter, last goal from, uh, from being achieved. But we hope that um, with the strengthening of the internet connection that this, this could be a future accomplishment. the little sisters and um, leaders within the community, women leaders, um, is, again, as Abby um, stated, just to give the girls a reason to become leaders themselves and to see that they're not the only ones that are aspiring to be someone great. On the last day of the workshop, we had a sort of graduation ceremony, and we passed out completion certificates to all of the girls in the program um, to provide something tangible that they could take home and share with their families to show their accomplishment and completion for the training workshop. And also at the end of the workshop, we distributed an optional survey to give us a better idea um, of how we performed during, throughout the workshop. Um, and as you've seen, a lot of the topics that were covered during the workshop, the girls found to be very helpful. And this is also a very good resource um, for the other two regions of Cameroon. As stated, YWLP was founded in three regions of Cameroon. Um, and we conducted the workshop in one of those regions um, 
And so the other two regions that were then going to go and found, um, excuse me, sorry, and um, work and conduct their leadership workshops can use those to guide um, their workshops. Um, and we would like to leave you with this testimony from a big sister in YWLP from the School of St. Francis. And we think it really attests to the importance of spreading this program globally as much as possible.